Hi everyone, welcome to SEO Space. You're watching this video because you need to edit or optimize the SEO descriptions across your Squarespace website. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through what SEO descriptions are, the SEO best practices that you need to be following, and then also how to edit your SEO descriptions on your Squarespace website. Now your SEO descriptions are this little snippet of text that shows up on Google's search engine's results page. And your SEO description is really important because it not only helps communicate to Google what you want to rank for on search engines. So for example, here I want to rank for Squarespace SEO plugin. So my SEO description is really important to show up for those search terms that my target customers are searching and vice versa for you. But your SEO description is really important as well because it's part of your shop window. When your target customers search something on Google, they're going to see all these different results. And your SEO description is going to play a part on whether they click on your website or not. So you not only want to make sure that it follows SEO best practices, but you also want to make sure that it's captivating for people to click on. Now, in general, I always recommend that your SEO title is between 150 and 160 characters long. This maximizes the chances that it actually shows up on search results and Google doesn't pick a random snippet of text off your web page, but you also want to make sure to include your main keyword, i.e. the main thing that you want a particular web page to rank for. Now, do not worry at all if you don't know what keyword you want to rank for. Feel free to head over to SEO Spaces keyword research tools and resources where you'll find a load of different information and help in order to find your keywords. However, now you know what an SEO description is and the best practices that you need to follow. What I want you to do is head over to the Squarespace dashboard. And for any particular page that you want to edit or optimize, if SEO Space has told you you need to improve and make that page follow SEO best practices, what you need to do is head over to the pages settings. From there, if you head over to SEO and then scroll down, you're going to see your SEO description for that particular web page. And as I mentioned, you want to make sure it's between 150 and 160 characters long. Now, Squarespace doesn't make it easy. It actually gives you the character limit for this box. So when you make it between 150 to 160 characters long, this wants to be between 250 and 240 to make sure that you've got the right length. Once you've done that, you want to make sure you press save. And then from there, you can rescan SEO space so it picks up those changes and make sure that you followed SEO best practices. Now, doing this for your home page is slightly different. It's pretty similar. All you need to do is head over and find your home page on the Squarespace editor, press settings, go to SEO. And then instead of a box, it's going to have this button edit website SEO settings. From there, your home page's SEO description is going to be in this box here. You follow the same best practices. You make it between 150 to 160 characters long, include your main keyword, and then press save. Now, sometimes even when you do this, even when you follow SEO best practices, as I've already mentioned, Google can sometimes just pick any random text off a web page and display that as your SEO description. If that is happening, you can do one of the three following things. First of all, you can edit and change your SEO description just to play around with different variations to see if Google displays that instead. Second thing you can do is add internal links. Internal links are links from one web page to another. And if you've got a particular page where Google just isn't displaying it correctly, I found by adding links from other pages to that one, it can draw Google's attention to it and make it more likely to show it up properly. And then the third thing is just make sure that you follow all the other SEO best practices across your website and that particular web page. By doing that, you just boost your chances of Google showing you up professionally and how you want it to. If you've got some page on your website that have broken links, the SEO title and SEO description just isn't optimized. I found that Google is just less likely to show you up right on other pages. So make sure you go through those and follow SEO best practices. Of course, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below or reach out to SEO Spaces support. We're more than happy to help. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.